Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a very simple, everyday makeup look using only drugstore products, which I have never done here before, so excited about that. Um, so yeah, I figured why not um, give it a go. This is super simple. I think I only used three eyeshadows and it's very, it's a very pretty, natural, light makeup look. Um, I think it's great for summer, even though summer is almost over already, which I can't believe. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoy this look. If you have any suggestions, just leave them in the comments below for any future videos. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you next time. So to start the look off, I am using this BB cream by Garnier Fructis, and I'm actually going to be mixing the colors light medium and medium dark because I'm kind of in between at the moment, so that's what I'm using for my face. And when I first started to apply this, my camera randomly turned off, so I'm sorry about that. And to apply it, I just put some dots over my face and I'm blending it all out with my damp beauty blender. Moving on to concealer, I am using this NYX HD concealer in the shade 06 and I'm applying this in a triangle shape underneath my eyes. And I'm also applying it on my eyelids to act as a primer for my eyeshadows. And at the moment, thank God, I do not have any blemishes that I need to cover up. And then I'm just going to be blending it all out again with my beauty blender. For my eyes, I'm going to be using this The Rock Nudes palette from Maybelline. And to start, I'm taking this kind of grayish purple color and I'm using my MAC 195 brush and I'm just going to be applying this color all over my entire eyelid. Next I'm going in with this deep plum color and I'm going to be putting it on the outer corner of my eye and then dragging it into my crease with the MAC 217 brush. I feel like the colors in this palette that I used weren't super pigmented, or not as pigmented as I would like them to be, but they were um, easily blendable, so that's a plus. Then just to blend everything out, I'm going in with my Sigma Tapered Blending E40 brush. Now I'm going back in with that plum color and this Luxie... 215 small angle brush and I'm just taking that color and dragging it along the upper lash line and also the lower lash line to give it a more dramatic kind of smoky look. Now I'm going in with this kind of pearl-like shade and I'm using the Crown C476 crease shadow brush and I'm just putting this along my brow bone and also the inner corner of my eye and again this color wasn't really that pigmented so I found that I had to keep going back in to pick more product up and it also wasn't as shimmery as I would have wanted. For mascara I am using this Maybelline Lash Sensational mascara and I have been in love with this mascara lately. So I'm just coating my top and bottom lashes with this. For bronzer, I'm using this Little Mermaid one by e.l.f. And I love this bronzer. It's really pigmented. And then to apply, I'm using this Bobbi Brown Face Blender brush. That was almost a tongue twister. <laughs> and I'm just applying this right under my cheekbones. And then I'm also going to be putting it on the temples on my forehead and then also underneath my chin and jawline. Now when I started doing my makeup I didn't realize that I didn't have a blush and highlighter straight from the drugstore but I am using this duo. It's by Pixie by Petra and it is the B2 
Beauty Blush Duo in Rose Gold. And I actually got this in one of my Ipsy bags. And I looked it up online and I think this retails for about $15. So it's not too expensive. It's not quite um, drugstore priced. But it's still very affordable. But I just applied this blush with my Sigma Powder Blush F10 brush to the apples of my cheeks. And then also applying the highlighter with the Sephora Pro Fan brush right above where I applied the blush. To set all of this, I am using this NYX Matte Finish Setting Spray. And I absolutely love this setting spray. Usually I use my MAC Fix Plus but this is a great drugstore choice. For this look, I just decided to go with a gloss, and I am using the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Eclair, and I love these glosses. They are super pigmented and super creamy, and oh, I just, I absolutely love them. There's really nothing bad that I can say about these glosses. And this is definitely my favorite pink gloss that I own. It's just the perfect color. So that is it for this look. It was super quick, super easy to do. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you in my next video.